congratulations to Bemidji. And that's the first time this entire season where there was, uh, at the end of the game, we weren't within a goal um, when, that, when that final buzzer went. I think we had one where a team scored an empty net goal on us, and but a one goal game where we were playing for it. And this, so it was kind of foreign territory. Um, you guys saw as well as I did, though, they're, uh, they're, they're big guys that we had to focus on. We, start, we gave them some gifts. We gave them some gifts with some bad turnovers, and, uh, and they capitalized. I, I believe that they were involved in all five goals. I think uh, they were involved. So um, big boys came to play tonight, and, and uh, congratulations to them. Uh, halfway through the game, you got a, a one nothing lead. Things look like they're pretty good. What do you think changed at that point? Well, it was a bad turnover for their first goal. Um, we're, it's still a good game in the third period. We're getting our chances. You know, we miss a, we, we had some really good looks at the net in the first period and, and just missed the net. And, uh, you know, we, we said it before. Now, this wasn't the case tonight with them, but we've had games where we have absolutely outplayed them. Last year in the playoffs, um, we outplayed them twice pretty significantly. And same guys scored their goals. You know, the same guys, they, they, they were the hockey players that scored their goals, you know. So we had two big turnovers. That The, the one that really, I think, changed it was the second one. That second, that uh, giveaway made a nice break out play to the middle, put it right on, uh, I think that went on Irulo's stick, I think, and then, you know, had no problem putting it in the net. So um, that was the one that really hurt us. And, and uh, you know, and then, they, then, then we made another mistake right after, shortly after, to give them the two-on-one at the blue line. Um, you know, just not smart hockey by, by some individuals. And again, comes down to playing your best when your best is needed and uh, that's what we prepare for all the time um, you have to go through guys you know there's not you can't put go you know you can't you're not trying to you're not trying to outscore them you're, you know you have, you're, you're trying to get your chances but defend well and, and that, that that's how the game has to be played you know playoff hockey's like that you have to defend and uh, defend first and check and take care of the puck and do those little things and you know I don't I'm not uh, sure we did that but again those uh, they're top guys you know everything else being equal head to head their top guys were awfully good you know what was the rationale behind uh, having an extra forward instead of a D-man with a loss of puck lead tonight um, well we also had Mosley out if you saw that so, uh, you know, Mosley's out, Goats is out, and to be honest with you, we don't know which guys, as, as the game started, we don't know uh, which, which forwards are going to give us some balance. Now, Sereski went out during the game as well, right before they got their second goal, and that changed, probably changed things a little bit. Um, sir, didn't have the confidence in our depth tonight that we had at other times, um, and we feel better that we could play our D more, can, they can log more minutes than trying to get by with our trying to create some some lines. You know what I mean? Like we have with bots out and Mosley out, it, it takes, it put a big hole in our lineup. You know, we have, and we still have a 1-1 one, one game in the third, but um, that, that was the rationale. We can get by better with, we needed the depth up front for, for a while there because as you saw when Soretsky went down, that really changed. Um, that's when it changed. But we gave him that change with that tur with the turnover. So, you know, which is, that's part of hockey. Was Did I answer any, that for you? Was there any momentum loss when they came back and made it one one just in the game yesterday? Um, I. Yes and no. I, we got through that one. We got through that one. We got through the end of the period and and you know. Um, but yeah, you kind of. But I don't think I didn't feel it on the bench where you know it was still one one game. The one that the one that took the sales was in in the third period when it went two one. Um, but still we, we pushed back. They just I I don't know what the scoring chances were in the game. I don't recall Blake having to make a whole bunch of tremendous saves. He made one glove save in the third. Do you guys recall any? I mean I don't recall. I mean they were just but the but the the goals when they get the shots they score. And they they do that all the time. I mean, a real, I, or uh, Owen Sillinger's got near 50 points tonight, 45 going into the game. He probably was in on every goal tonight. Um, probably got an assist on every goal. That'd be 50 points. He's probably leading the country in scoring or 
second in the country in scoring, and he did the same thing last weekend against Bowling Green. That you know that line did so. Um, you know, it was it was it was big boys against big boys tonight, and and their guys don't need that much to score goals. They get a look, they score. Again, I don't think I'm not saying we had a ton of scoring chances tonight, um, but I didn't I don't recall them having a a whole bunch of them. But the ones they got, they put in the net, and that's what they do. So they did the same thing to us last year in the playoffs. So, coach, uh, you're, you've had three playoff games now. Brian Hallinan still doesn't have a point. What do you feel like is going on with him? I know we kind of talked about it a little bit in different points, but what are you seeing in his game? Well, he's got a lot of distractions, you know, and and uh, and that's you know that that's just if he would have if he would have gone through, you know, NHL interest and stuff a year ago and came back for a year, um, he'd handle it differently. Like if he had offers a year ago and had opportunities a year ago. Um, he'd have gone through that experience. I mean, this is the first time he's really, you know, looked at the the end game. Now I don't, you know. So yeah, it's again, it comes. That's what it comes down to. It comes down to they were able to. You know, Brian's a all league player. You know, 45, 46 point guy, and and uh, had a, had a has had a bit of a, a dry spell. But I think it's distractions. I think it's it's. Uh, not that he's not trying, not that he's looking for something different. You know, I, I was talking to a, a good friend of mine, Darren Madeley, this past week. I think you and I talked about that. And I, we were talking about this. And uh, he said, you know, my sophomore year, because he signed after his junior year, he said, my sophomore year, um, that's when I, you know, when I fought it. Like, it was, it was hard. My junior year, when I came back, I knew I was signing. You know, it was, and then and, and it went to the national tournament. But he just played, you know, just played. It's that uh, first time through it, you know. Bliss is going through the same thing to some degree. I'm sure distractions. So, speaking of the pressure, do you see it as advantageous then, since they get two weeks off to try to reset and uh, uh, kind of center themselves going into the national tournament scene? Well, I hope we get in the tournament. You know, I hope we get in. So, um, right now we're letting this thing settle in. We'll, we'll take a few days off. We'll, you know, they'll have the selection committee. Every, as every game goes by, we'll have a better picture as to what opportunities we have. But um, it's not going to hurt us. It's, it's not going. It's not going to. And it's not going to hurt those guys. Um, you know, you, they're still playing. They're, they're, they're still playing for Michigan Tech. They're, they're given what they have for Michigan Tech. It's just handling the uh, handling the. You know, it's always got to be always on their mind. And if you can't, if you have trouble dealing with that, plus on top of school and to, on top of this, you know, what's going to happen next week? You know, if we don't get in, am I going to sign on Wednesday? And I'm a, is classes in order? Is everything? So um, that's maturity. That's going through it. But the other side of it is people want to see you perform in those environments. They want to see you perform in those environments, like perform when it's on the line. That's what everybody wants to see. Like tonight I come out of it and all things being equal, I'm signing Owen Sillinger. He's the first guy to take out of that game and sign him. You know what I mean? He competes hard, won battles, scored when he had to, put up points, made plays, defended, looked a lot like uh, Braden Point out there from Tampa Bay. So, um, If Tech does make the national tournament, going off of the last previous three playoff games that we played and not necessarily playing up to what fans would expect necessarily, high scoring games, and very good defense. Do you, where's your confidence level right now going into like a, like a Loveland and Al, uh, Allentown, Albany, Worcester? Well, I mean, we're humbled right now. We're humbled right now for the reasons you said. You know, we're humbled right now for the reasons you said. You know, there's, there's, you know, you, you, you know, we, we need to get performances out of, you know, you need to have that. And when, you know, one game off is one thing, two games a month straight is a little different, is a little different ball of wax. So it's given a lot of the guys a chance to play. But, you know, you have to look at how, we have a lot of seniors now. Bemidji had a lot of seniors too. Um, but we have a lot of seniors. Carroll is a senior. You know, uh, Goats is a senior. Sawyer's a senior. You know, you want them to be all playing their best hockey right now. You know, that's what you're, 
that's that's really what you're after, and they're playing, you know. And again, it's a one-one game. You know, do we expect more? Yeah, but bottom line is, everything they shot went in in the last, and they had good looks at the net. I, but not, you know, they they're good players, and they don't they don't need much. They're pros. You know, if if I'm an NHL guy, like if I'm looking at the two teams, I'm I'm I can see translation from from what I saw from some of from from some of their top three guys, right? I can see translation. Um, play with pace, play fast, opportunistic, right side of the puck, blah blah blah. And I would probably come out looking at it in a realm something like, you know, how does this translate? Especially if they're here for every game, game after game for the last month. How how do they translate? Um, and that's what's on our players' mind. So when you're talking about my confidence doesn't matter, I have confidence in our team and what we do, but the confidence is in the players that, are, that need to perform. So a couple of days off will probably help. Um, we may know better tonight, or we may, I mean, who knows, we may jump to 14th tonight in the pairwise, and then you can, you know, it was a good year, you know, so.